create. This is a dangerous Maryland team. Yeah, Jameer Young, you see him right there during Big Ten play alone. He's averaging 18 points per game. As we take a look at the starting lineups, Julian Reese had a good game at Mackey Arena last month despite a three-point loss. He'll have the challenge with Zach Eady tonight. The starting backcourt will be challenged on the road tonight. Two freshmen, Braden Smith and Fletcher Lawyer. But as for Zach Eady... Fourteenth all-time meeting. The last four have been decided by three points or less. Purdue beat Maryland by three at Mackey Arena last month. Paul Sells throws it up in the air, and Purdue will start as we are underway, Stephen, here tonight at College Park. Watch the power forward matchup between these two teams. Dante Scott and Caleb first will be critically important to the outcome. Edie's first touch, and he turns it over. Turn it over six times. Against Northwestern, Jameer Young, the pick, missed the layup inside, rebound, Dante Scott. He'll shovel it, nope, keeps it, and can't connect. Reese, another chance, up, no, and Edie clears. Wow, it's going to be physical Big Ten basketball. Maryland liking the tempo to, the, to start this game. Maryland had some great looks around the rim, empty possession. Fletcher Lawyer lost his footing. Great Smith with nine to shoot. Here's the double team on Edie, brings it low, tied up, and a jump off. Maryland basketball. That's great individual defense by Reese. Simply took, put his hand on top of the basketball to force a turnover. Maryland's going to have to do something to free up. Jameer Young, Ethan Morton did an outstanding job on Young the first time these two teams matched up. Now began the telecast talking about Purdue's turnover issues, two possessions and two turnovers. Carry the floater doesn't go, and one and done for Maryland. Braden Smith averaging 10 points, four assists per game. Struggle with his shot in Evanston at 10 points. Both of those points, though, came with the foul line. Off the curl. Jump stop to the paint. Off oh, the glass and scores. Nice move. That's beautiful. Go hard. Jump stop. Reverse pivot. Let's the defense go by. That's an upperclassman move by the freshman Smith. Here's Reese over Edie. Nice pocket pass by Hakeem Hart. Let's keep an eye on the pressure that Maryland applies, not just in the half court, but full court. That was effective as they nearly came back. They were down by 16 at one point in Mackey before losing by three. And they could throw the ball in the ocean in the first half, but <laughs> they got some turnovers and got downhill. Started feeling better. Lawyer splits the zone, attacks, no. Rebound, Edie put back, yes. That's a good job of Edie following the miss. Out of a zone defense, it's really difficult to clean off the defensive glass. Purdue doing a good job. See the numbers on Edie this season. He's been dominant. Jamiri Young breaking the ankles of Morton. This is the shot. Edie lost it. Reese threw it away. Quick and active hands by Lawyer. First is open to the basket, but Morton didn't see him. Yeah, that was a that was a big miss that time. Edie feeds down low. Smith in trouble. It's good recovery by the Terrapins there. Edie with five to shoot with the right hand hook rattles out. That's what he needs to do, in my opinion. Go quickly before the defense can. Adjust and double team him. He's gonna have a look early. Dante Scott for three. Way off. And the Terps now one of their first seven from the field. Watch Braden Smith stop. Got away with shuffling those puppies a little bit, but got it <laughs> off the glass. Nice move nonetheless. You guys can probably hear the chorus behind us of the student section here in Maryland. 
quite clever with what they're chanting here. 80 down low against Reese. Deep position. That time off the glass and in. Boy, Zach Eady animated too. One of the and one opportunity. Have a feeling he's going to have a big game tonight. Bigger than most games because all of them are, are pretty big. 20 double doubles this season, 32 over his great career. Jameer Young. Met by Morton. The bounce yes. back. Down low, Eady with the block on Reese. And Morton, a loose ball. Touch pass in the corner. Lawyer to first. Lawyer along the baseline. Poke three and turnover. Wow, Keith Hart holding his own against Eady. Locking down that backside defense, coming up with the steal. Hart played great against Penn State last time. Reese scores, but Hart coming off a 23 point game. The defense leads to a bucket. Well, that's the concentration, but they call him Juju Reese going over the top of Vidi on that finish. Lawyer splits the feathers, blows left it short. Noah Fletcher Lawyer read the defense well, though. Yeah, the Euro step, the land, yes, and we're tied at six. Well, these, Transition bucket. These fans love this up tempo style that Maryland plays, and they feed off of it. Now Morton has a step. He'll kick out. Lawyer, good look for three from the corner, doesn't go. Hart to save to his teammate, Don Carey. In the first meeting, neither team shot the ball well from three in that game. Maryland only made three threes in 21 attempts. Purdue connected on just two as Carey with the miss. These guys can't wait for this first TV timeout. Everybody's a little gassed right now. Smith pulls up. That's a two and a smooth stroke there for Braden Smith. Great Smith. Making some really good decisions to start this game. Pull up jumper there, but you can see everybody grabbing their shorts, mouth wide open. Can't wait for that first break. That'll cover the next whistle. Our double teamed and he throws it away. Smith spins on Young. Nice job by Maryland getting back defensively. Here's first, finds a crease, and he traveled. And that's a Purdue turnover, number four. And with that, we have our first timeout. Up and down the floor to begin the night here at College Park. Zach Eady early on has four. And our first break. Purdue on top five. Terps against AP top five teams. The last time Maryland defeated a top five team, 2016 against number three, Iowa. Uh, Melo Trimble and Jake Lehman, Rashid Suleiman, Diamond Stone, that great group from Mark Turgeon seven years ago. Yeah, that's a, quite a drought. As much talent has come through College Park. Brandon Newman checks in and picks up the foul. Newman scoreless over his last two games. He picks up the foul, first foul called on either side. And there is Matt Painter. Four time, Big Ten Coach of the Year. Mary Young off the hands of Hart. Able to capture, drive, contact, and a blocking foul is called on David Jenkins Jr. His heart is slow to his feet. I think Hart is going to be okay. I think he was scared because of the awkwardness of the collision. I think he's going to be all right, though. Wow. They called him. They said he was passing a basketball? Huh. I'm surprised by that, Corey. So Jenkins with the foul, his first team second. Subs for both teams. Here's Reese. Jump stop with the left hand, left it short against Trey Kaufman Wren. Kaufman Wren did a good job of holding his ground. Reese is trying to back him down. He couldn't do it. Kaufman Wren, he's going to be a good player. Red shirted, 6'9, 225, red shirt freshman. It's going to be a key piece here moving forward. Smith, fancy pass, Coffin Wren lost it, and a turnover. Smith's got the ultimate level of confidence, but he just can't make that pass in tragic. Hart finds a crease in the paint, puts it up, it'll count, and one for Akeem Hart. 
know, Jameer Young said the heart of this team, despite the last name, is number 13 for the Terrapins. Well, Hakeem Hart is six foot eight. So anytime he gets in the paint against opposing perimeter players, he's generally going to have a size advantage. That time goes right through the contact of Jenkins and keeps his concentration. Hakeem Hart, when he scores in double figures, Maryland pretty good. 13 and 2 when he scores 10 or more. As he has three here tonight, and the Terps have their first lead at 9 8. Well, Great Smith able to break that pressure almost all by himself. But that's going to have a wearing effect on him. Let's see how he handles that. Smith missed the summer, recovering from a foot injury. Hoffman Wren. It's Patrick and Million. Smith's baseline off the glass, too strong. Dante Scott, the rebound at Temple. Dante Scott's got the mismatch. And Maryland can see it. Jari Long lost it. Good job of Long getting over the ball screen action. Often Ren sets the screen. Good screen on Long. Smith off the dribble. Finds a lane, reverses and scores. Scott tried to block it, but quick step, athletic move by Smith, and the Boilermakers regain the lead. Nice job of reading his teammate, Kaufman Wren, in the post, sealing off the help side defense. Beautiful move. So Brady Smith has six of the first ten, and a foul called on Purdue. With that, we have a timeout. 11 12 to go, first half. Purdue by one. Timeout. A lot about their character and the fact that the level of confidence that they have. And Braden Smith is 3 3 from the field to start this game. And for more on Braden Smith, let's check in with Andy. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. We were talking to Matt Painter during shoot around, and it was never a question of if Braden Smith was going to be a sensational player for Purdue, it was just a matter of when. Because he had a broken foot in his senior year in high school, Matt Painter just wasn't sure when he'd be able to have an impact. He got healthy, and they always knew Fletcher Lawyer was going to be a big-time scorer, and they assumed Smith would be like this. They just weren't sure what happened this quickly. He got healthy, and it certainly did. And the duo, Andy, is on pace to be among the best freshman duo in, in program history. On pace for 773 points, only each one more, and some guy named Robbie Hummel were a better freshman duo in terms of point scoring than what we perhaps will be seeing here this season. Nice shot there from Newman. You know what? That's a great call by Matt Painter to get Brandon Newman a good look coming off the screen. That will make him even more locked in on the defensive end because he's charged with guarding Jameer Young right now. And Newman, good numbers, shooting the three when his career began his freshman season, but those numbers have taken a drop. Over the last couple of seasons, nice cut and pass to a million. Yeah, Carey, I, I, I was looking concerned with what he was doing there. Held the ball quite a bit, but he was waiting for the spacing to clear out. Beautiful feed. Smith bounce pass. Kaufman ran off his hand, and it rolled in. Not sure if he's trying to dunk that, if it slipped out of his hand or not. Two points anyway. You know, I think... Purdue is doing a much better job of reading the switching defenses of Maryland. Maryland likes to do a lot of stuff late in the shot clock, and Purdue's got a couple layups as a result. Zach Eady will check in. Next whistle. The pass from Young to a million and a foul. And a lawyer will smile. And that's his first foul. And the 15 foul. So here is Patrick Amillion at the line shooting two, a guy that can play some backup four, backup five. Kevin Willard. Zach Eady is back in. Andy, what do you have on Zach? Well, it's interesting in talking to Kevin Willard, he was telling us this afternoon that he could only think of maybe one time when he was going against Creighton and all. You know, that they could run uh, with Greg McDermott, how they had to prep just specifically for one kind of offense. 
Other than that, he never could remember having to really think about how he was going to focus against one particular player when he's on the court and then when he's off the court. It's different how you're going to approach. When he's in the game, it's a completely different defense. One point game. 9.20 to go here in the first half. Andy thinks. Boy, Martinez's effort on defense have really turned up for Maryland. Player finds a lane, awkward angle, and scores anyway. I tell you what, that's creativity at the bucket. Thought Lawyer was going to dribble that out along the baseline. Saw an opening, he was able to finish. There's points for the freshman from Fort Wayne, averaging 12 points per game. Dangerous pass, and there's Lawyer getting his hand on the ball, knocking it free. It'll stay with the Terrapins. Let's go back to Lawyer, Stephen, a moment ago. Well, you see here, look, looked like he was either going to pass along the baseline or try to get it to Edie when he picked up his dribble. He almost lost that. Looked like Julian Reese had a piece of it. Nice finish by Fletcher Lawyer. And Lawyer averaging 13 points per game. Fifth best by a Purdue freshman in program history at this point. Young off the crossover with that dominant left hand. No good. Edie the rebound. See Young trying to finish over the top of Ethan Morton. That's more than a notion. Ethan Morton, 6'7", 220. Jenkins Great. can't hit the three. Great size there on the defensive end. 32% three-point shooter. His Jenkins could not hit there. Wide start for Young. Two points and one of four shooting. Hart bounces to Reese. Got it back. Three off the mark. Martinez with a putback. I love Martinez. Comes in, he establishes himself first, Corey, on the defensive end. And then that bleeds over to the offensive end. Nice job on the putback. Second year at Maryland, played his freshman season at Utah. Coming from Costa Rica. One point game. Here's Lawyer for three, short. And a million with the rebound. Maryland was fortunate that time. Hakeem Hart got ball, got caught ball watching. Lawyer had a pretty good look. Young to Martinez off the fake from the elbow for the lead. No. And one and done. Morton the rebound. Maryland just six of 19 from the field. Purdue, meanwhile, shooting better than 53% from the field. And a one point lead. Edie down low, double team deflected, and Morton saves it. Well, Maryland yet to commit a foul. Morton lets it fly short, and Young the rebound. That's exactly what Maryland wanted Morton to do in that scenario. You don't see Ethan go off the bounce hardly at all. So that was an uncomfortable situation for him. A million with the tip out to Hart for three. Yeah, the looks are there, not falling, and Lawyer with the rebound. Now Maryland dropping back into that matchup zone defense, and a lot of times they will transition into man in the same possession. 80 down low off the glass. 80 now with six points and three rebounds. I love that read by Purdue. Start him at the elbow. He slides down the paint. Hit him on the move a little bit, and all he does is catch and finish. Stephen mentioned in the first matchup, both teams struggled shooting the three ball. So far tonight, a combined 0 for 8. Both teams will be on the arc. I know you have to shoot him, Corey, but I would try to get a little closer if I would score well for the three. That's just me. A million has a good look. From the corner, there's the first made three tonight, and it ties the game at 18. Play just a few minutes. A million did in the first matchup. He was just coming back from an ankle injury, and we're tied at 18. Well, a million is really versatile. Can do a lot of different things with him on the floor. Lawyer back to Edie. Jenkins. Bounce to first. Spins on Martinez. Out of bounds. Maryland basketball. And with that, we have a timeout. Sellout crowd tonight making noise. 520 at Carolina.
Lost him way too soon. What a talent and a great pick back in the day. The great Len Bias here oh, in Maryland. And Braden Smith comes up, takes some lunch money. The freshman coming up with a big steal in a bucket. Happened so quickly, most of us didn't see it. A nonchalant pass and heady play there from Smith. Had to call him Tiny from the movie Friday. <laughs> Taking folks lunch buddy. Dang! <laughs> uh, Smith has eight. Oh, good switch defensively by Gillis. Blew that play up. Hart with four against Morton. High off the glass. Rattled out. Mason Gillis played good D. Now the rebound, and there's the first foul called on Maryland at the 451 mark of this first half. That is the first Terrapin foul. Uh, see, so when you get in the game, oh. And there is Kevin Willard. His first season trying to make some history. He's 17 and 8 with the Terrapins. No first year Maryland coach has ever led the Terrapins to the NCAA tournament in year number one. And he's doing a heck of a job. Got this Maryland team believing in themselves, playing a style of play that not only do they like, but their fan base loves. Our bracketologist Mike DeCourcy has the Terrapins right now in as a number eight seed. Long two for Mason Gillis. Coming off a nine-point game against Northwestern. I love the patience by P Purdue to start this game. They're simply waiting when they see the change being made in the defense. And they found the holes. Young rejected and a foul. Smith looked like he had all ball, but indicating that the foul occurred on his arm. And free throws upcoming here for Jameer Young. Well, if you're a scorer like Young, that's a good way to start. Get to the free throw line. Get in the lane area. He thought he had an advantage over Smith. Drew the contact. 82% at the line. First one goes. Andy? Yeah, I spoke with Jameer Young this afternoon. You know, it was interesting. He told me that his final three in transfer from Charlotte were Maryland, where he's from this area, Gonzaga, and Purdue. Really seriously considered the Boilermakers, but obviously decided to stay close to home. And look, it's been quite a find in the transfer portal for Kevin Willard. They wouldn't be here without him. And Andy, you know, Kevin wasn't shy, too, about expectations. He has blown expectations away about going from Conference USA, Stephen, to an elite potential all-Big Ten first-team player this year. No, I, I, I agree. And, you know, a lot of times those guys that start out at levels similar to Conference USA, not that they can't play at this level, sometimes they get overlooked in high school. He down that right block to Gillis, bottled up by Hart and a foul. And with that, that'll take us to a timeout. Two-point game under four to go, first half. Good one tonight in College Park. Why should you get old? Well, check this out. Open an eligible old national check. Long, averaging over 18 in conference play. These two will come down to the wire for me as that fifth member of the All-Big Ten first team. And the other four locks, right? Trace Jackson Davis, Zach Eady, Jalen Pickett. And Chris Murray. No doubt. Yeah. Follows out a keen heart as Gillis knocks down a couple of foul shots. That's been a strength for Purdue all season long. 124 free throws made. More than opponents have attempted entering this one tonight. That's been a constant as Hart lost a turnover, Maryland. Fifth Terrapin turnover. Yeah, Akeem Hart. Wanting to get some love there from Roger Ayers, but there's none to be had. Brandon Newman coming off the bench for Purdue with some really good defensive minutes. And the two points in four minutes has the ball right now met by Martinez. Here's Edie. And the friendly roll. And Purdue six-point advantage, their largest here tonight. Zach screaming for a foul there on the release. Not getting the whistle, but getting the buckets. Edy up to eight points. Here's Hart, brought it low. Smith on the floor, picked up the ball, but was he on the baseline? He was. 
Boy, is that young man locked in this after this evening, I should say. He's playing great here tonight on both ends of the floor. Yes, he is. Very advantageous in reaching in and knocking the ball out of Akeem Hart's hands. Almost gets the steal. <laughs> and his eyes wide saying, no, that arm was elevated. And Martinez, he got Smith off his feet with the fake. Okay, Scott's been quiet. Yes, he has. Hasn't really been this aggressive like we're getting ready to see right here. Well, it's about four defenders. Shot clock winding down. Martinez the miss. And here come the Boilermakers up by six. Purdue has done a great job on the on the de defensive glass. Maryland got three early, but they've only got two the rest of the half. Terps no field goals more than three minutes here. Did you see Mason Gillis with that Little League World Series fastball? <laughs> And Zach Eady caught it like it was nothing. That's a, that's a foul. Newman getting hit going to the bucket. Five on four for Maryland the other way. Here's Young. Left side, three ball short. Dante Scott with the rebound. Kicks it out, Martinez. And a whistle and a foul will be called on Purdue. And that'll be the seventh team foul. So that'll put Maryland in the bonus here for the final 210. And that's the second foul on Newman. And a one and one upcoming for the Terrapins. I like the fact that Martinez put it on the deck trying to get to the bucket. A lot of threes shot here in the first half. He wants to get to the rim. The foul shooter, 79%. Too strong that time. Maryland is scoring drought right now of over two minutes. Smith has Reese out high and now whistle inside of the foul. And this is going to be on Dante Scott as he was battling with Edie. And I don't blame Dante Scott. He's, he's given up a lot of size and he's trying to keep Edie out of the paint. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else you can do really. I'm not saying it wasn't a foul, but I, I'd be working as hard as Dante was at that time as well. 13 foul, first on Scott. Smith slithers his way inside. Pulls it high for Edie, and I think they're going to get Hakeem Hart with the foul, and it is going to be a foul as he made contact with Edie on that entry pass, second on Hart. So Maryland really didn't commit many fouls there. Still not a lot, but starting to pick them up now. And again, you're at Edie's mercy if you're one-on-one -on -one in that paint. Mark stays on the floor with those two fouls. Skip pass in the corner for Lawyer. Quick collapse by Young. Lawyer attacks. Matt Painter wanted a foul. We play on. Here's Young. Had it stripped. Loose on the floor. Smith diving after it. Out of bounds. Oh, and a foul. I'm sorry, a foul is called. And this will be on Purdue. It's on Mason Gillis. Eighth team foul. Wow, that's a frenetic exchange. We're still trying to sort it out here. The foul was on Gillis. So this is a one and one for Jameer Young. Stick around with the State Farm halftime report. Rick Trent and Ray Fell get you up to date on the highlights, the analysis from our Chicago studios. This is the State Farm halftime report coming up in just a bit. Jameer Young ambidextrous. Left handed shot. Throws left-handed, but does everything else right-handed? Well, he can dunk right-handed, too. I know that. 40-inch <laughs> vertical. Smith attacking and lays it up and in. Great first half for Braden Smith. Boy, I tell you what. He's playing with a, a, a sense of confidence. He's not sped up. Making all the right decisions here in the first half. It's a game-high 10. Lead back to 6. Young against 80. 
with a flex on the floor. Flex on his feet. And the Terrapin fans loving it. And see, this is the 40-inch vertical. I'm telling you about. Watch him explode. Gets up top. Paul Sells, the official said there's got hit to the side of the head. Jameer Young. Go ahead and flex, young fella. I see you. <laughs> Young has eight points. And completes the three-point play. The foul on Edie is first. One possession game. It's a new set that we haven't seen this half. Oh, Edie gave it up. Boy, big fella. Out of back. Baseline left and short. And Reese the rebound and a foul. Well, that's a great effort by Julian Reese. Battling Edie, mano y mano. Zach Edie is not pleased right now. And Edie just picked up his second foul, so two quick fouls in a matter of seconds. He's trying to keep his composure over there. Double bonus now for Maryland. Two shots there for Julian Reese. Just a 52% free throw shooter. Four star player out of St. Francis Academy. This is the front end. Well, Maryland's left some meat on the bone at the free throw line here. You really want to take advantage of that free throw, that charity strike, especially at home. Because you, you've got a small margin of error against the number three team in the nation. And Maryland, when leading at halftime, they have yet to lose. Meanwhile, Purdue led it the half against Northwestern. And that one doesn't go either. They're up by seven, had won 20 straight games when leading at halftime before falling. Last time out at Evanston, just a bit. Shot clock off, 21 seconds to go. Purdue by three. Watch a weak side three here from Purdue. Maybe Mason Gillis. And some fouls to give. That's only the 15th foul on Maryland. Fouls on Martinez. And that's his first. See Maryland do it again here momentarily with a few seconds tick off and then commit their sixth foul. And Martinez though just picked up a foul now he does reach the 6.6 .6, and there is number six uh, the team. That's well, really an advantage when you can go through the first half like Martinez and not pick up any fouls and then in this sequence pick up two quick ones that Eat up some valuable time for what Purdue's trying to do. Smith with three. In the paint. Morton lets it fly. And it's no good. And that's the first half here in college. Purdue for the most part. Zach Eady has two fouls. But look, he said Braden Smith had an outstanding first half. We, we all know that. Purdue starts with the ball, second half underway, 14th all-time meeting between these two programs. Smith trying to add to that tally and does. Well, Purdue has found the wrinkle in that changing defense of Maryland. Smith has continued to get to the open space and convert. Hey, think about the matchup, Stephen. You were in West Lafayette last month, these two teams, and that second half, Maryland threw some zone quite often at Purdue as Young close scores in the paint. But Kevin Willer told us before the game today, might not see as much zone here tonight. Yeah, I think, you know, he, he's just trying to change it up and throw all kind of different looks. And you've seen a lot of matchup zone here early. Braden Smith just gets it over the half-court line. Smith fires up top, and that three goes for Smith. So five quick points for Smith here in the second half. And there's the first made three tonight for the Boilermakers. 
I consider that. <laughs> First made three, and you're still up six points on the road in a building where no other Big Ten team has won this season. So, in spite of not dialing in from long range, Purdue looking good. Reese against Edie with the block. Second block for Edie tonight. Edie picked up two fouls late in the first half. You can see that time Reese may be trying to force Edie into his third, but great defense. Well, I give Reese credit to have the confidence to try to go over seven foot four. Gillis left it short. Keem Hart only three points in the first half. Dante yeah. Scott blocked again by Edie. Again. <laughs> Zach Eady, seven foot four. You can't go at him like you go at everyone else. Smith up top again. Air ball. And Smith saying that it was tipped. Not the case. Maryland basketball. Zach Eady just blocked Julian Reese. Now, Dante Scott trying to go up with the offhand. Cannot get the finish. Zach Eady, good defense. Dante Scott hasn't scored yet tonight. Averaging 12 points per game. He's been quiet. Reese down low off the feed. And there's Smith from the weak side coming back to swap that one out of bounds. <laughs> I'm chuckling because Braden Smith having a fantastic game on both sides. I mean, boy, that was a volleyball spike. And had something to say about it afterwards. Certainly enjoyed that. Three block shots this half alone. Here's Carey, the state away from the baseline. Carey got the chicken wing off. Got a little space there. On Carey tonight playing his 142nd career college game. In his sixth season. Played at Georgetown the last two years. Siena before that began at Mount St. Mary's. Smith at the elbow. Passed up a shot. Here's Edie with four. Beatty and finds the roll. And Edie screaming for a foul. He should. That's an and one. Reese got away with one there. Edie now with ten. Young off the screen. Hard drives, bumps. Play on. You know what? The officials have been consistent in that. Players trying to get that contact. They've not gotten the call tonight. Smith outside the lane. Bounce pass. Edie finds a crease and scores with the left hand. The penetration from Smith set up Edie down low. And the lead is up to eight. Largest tonight for Purdue, and now Maryland calls a timeout. If you go to Ken Palm, Zach Eady is so far ahead of everyone, although number two is Trace Jackson Davis in terms of National Player of the Year. I think it's an open and shut case. I think he's going to win every single one of them, like Oscar Sheepway last season. It's interesting, this afternoon, Zach Eady knew exactly which teams played a man-to-man, -man, rattled them right off to me. Michigan State, Indiana, and then he came back a little while and goes, Iowa, Iowa was the other one. Uh-uh. He doesn't like when they do that because he's going to punish them if they go one-on-one -on, -one on him. Andy, thanks. Young pulls up to the elbow and scores. you agree with Andy that right now it's Zach Eady, National Player of the Year? Yes. Runaway? But yeah. I don't know that it's runaway because Trace Jackson Davis seems to be trying to make a bid himself. I, I do think Zach is definitely the leader, but I don't know if it's runaway. And Zach, he has a routine on road games, night before the game, after a team meal, he has to have sushi. He said the Maryland sushi, by the way, was fantastic. Now, when you're 7 4, 3 0, 5, one California roll is not going to do it. And now a technical foul has been called. As Julian Reese, the uh, push up now is up to his feet. And that'll take us to a timeout. But Reese slow to get up. Yeah, Mason Gillis right there. That's what drew the technical timeout in College Park. There's a technical. So any player from Maryland can shoot the technical free throws. Jameer Young's at the line. So Jameer Young will shoot two, and then Maryland will have the ball and go the length of the floor. 
So Gillis, by the way, picks up two fouls. He has three now for the game. And there's the second foul shot from Young, 82% at the line. Knocks down both. And now the ball is flipped to the opposite end of the floor. And the Terrapins will inbound from underneath the Purdue basket. There's Gillis on the bench. All right, mark this play now. 15-20. Momentum changer here, you think? I think so. Especially if Maryland can convert here. Jameer Young, by the way, with 15 points, 7 of 7 at the line. Nice closeout by Great Smith. Carry the bounce pass underneath. Two-man game done well to Reese. The speed of their offensive execution is what's key to Maryland. Try to keep you on your heels defensively. Eady in traffic, no. First hits the deck, and here comes Young. Maryland down two, carry the lead, but we have a tie game at 37. Crowd is on fire here in College Park. Ethan Moore has got to help Brayden Smith break that pressure. They're putting too much pressure on Smith alone. Five to shift for Smith. Off the 80 screen. Smith drives, hangs, the miss. 80 put back, no. Tipped out and saved by Young. Watch Javier Young in this situation. Carry off the fake, steps back. Watch Amir Young. Don't bring it back on this ball screen action. Carry bounce pass. Reese for the lead. A 10 0 Maryland run. Terps by two. Timeout Purdue. And we're seeing it play out here. Yeah, and now you've got the crowd involved. After every make, Maryland's going to go into some heavy pressure. And Braden Smith was. Barely able to get that ball across half court. I think they're relying on him too much for Purdue Ethan Morton put it on the deck Fletcher lawyer needs to put it on the deck a little bit to help Braden Smith get through some of this pressure But Maryland doing an outstanding job of wrestling control of this game It's loud in here and Andy you have a good view and feel for that right now, don't you? Yeah, Kevin told us this afternoon how much this team feeds off of the crowd and Everyone in the Maryland Athletic Department knew that the second half, this place was going to be packed because of the 6.30 start. It's raining. There's traffic in the, in the area. They knew in the second half, this place was going to be rocking, and it is. Newman trying to answer and does. And the Boilermakers regain the lead. Confidence stroke from Brandon Newman. I'm telling you, that play in the first half to get Newman on a down screen, curl into a jump shot, really got him locked in. Scoreless his last two games off the bench has five here so far tonight Team Hart's been quiet just three points Reese and throws it away Turnover Maryland here's Smith up the floor and now he gives it right back To Don Carey and now Newman pokes it free but Carey reclaims Scott against the smaller Smith. Edie comes to help out. Shovels to Reese. Pretty look. Well, Fletcher Lawyer late on the rotation. Well, look at Maryland scramble right now. Purdue, good job. Breaking the press with first. Overplay by Young. And a foul. That's the first foul on Maryland this half. I don't know. I don't know. Jameer Young is tired, or I mean, they're they're doing some old lay stuff defensively on the perimeter. Even after they had, he had the. Uh, I think it was Braden Smith in front of him. You don't want to take those chances and leave your teammates on a five-on-four situation. Stay sound defensively. I was on carry. He comes out. A million. Martinez back in the floor for Maryland. Lawyer off the fake. David Jenkins Jr. back in the floor. Just three to shoot. Lawyer lets it fly. 
It's off the mark. Jenkins tries to save it into the hands of Martinez. Bounce pass. And dumps it down. And the lead is three. I'll tell you what, a million and Martinez have brought great energy off the bench for Maryland. His season high is 10 points. A million has nine. Lawyer. Bottled up by Reese. Jump ball. Arrow. Maryland possession. And that takes us to a timeout. It's a 14 3 Maryland run. You see the fans play. Patrick Amelia coming home with the hammer. Nice job by the Terrapins getting out and transition and making it worth it's worth the price of admission. Patrick Amelia, I see you, big fella. And the Terrapins on a run here. Since that technical foul, they've connected in all five of their shots. 8 of 12 from the field is half alone. Now the Terrapins with the ball up by three. I like Brandon Newman picking up full court, taking up some of the time, making Jameer Young work. And he goes to work and adds to his night. Young with 17. I think Young liked it when Fletcher Lawyer switched on him. They seem to open up the floor and let him go one on one. Jameer Young, he's been at his best in conference home games. He's averaging 23 points per game. Big Ten play here at home. Keep in mind, the Terrapins, the only Big Ten team yet to lose a home conference game all year. You can see why. They turn up the heat in this building. It gets rocking. Follows on Patrick Amillion, his first. And the team second. Jenkins to throw it in. Needs some help. Slashing as Newman has it rejected by Hart, but a foul. And you see what Matt Painter has done. He's gone to a different lineup here. Kaufman, Wren, Gillis, Jenkins, Newman, and Smith on the floor. This is a different look for Purdue. To try to counterbalance some of this pressure they're receiving from the Terrapins. Newman 79% at the line. Purdue, the top free throw shooting team in the Big Ten. And this is the front end. Saturday, catch a pair of hoops matchups at noon Eastern. Rutgers is in Madison to take on Wisconsin. Then at 9, Penn State and Minnesota from the bar. And it's all Saturday only on Big Ten Network and the Fox Sports app. Purdue now is a team three of four at the line. Purdue has the best free throw advantage in the country. Not even close. Yeah, and so they, they're not getting their normal allotment from the free throw line, and they're not dominating the glass either. Maryland, nine more free throw attempts than Purdue tonight. Newman helps out with the block defensively. 12 to shoot. It stays with the Terrapins. I'm telling you, this is a defensive look. For Purdue on the floor. Young gets downhill. Nice help from Brandon Newman. There's 12 seconds on the clock. Let's see if the Terrapins recognize this. Dante Scott's trip slashing to the paint. Uh, a lot of traffic in there. And it's on Newman, and that's his third. So Newman three fouls, Gillis three fouls, as Matt Painter talks it over with his staff. Newman stays on the floor. Oh, Brandon Newman on the backside. Probably saved the layup there. Dante Scott seeking points up the game, and there they are. Martinez defending Jenkins was running out of room and Jenkins threw it off the legs of Martinez. It'll save the Boilermakers. 
Not much Martinez. See the little smirk there doing all he could. It's <laughs> just Jenkins running out of room. Only chance he had to keep possession. Chuck that ball off the defender. So Roger Ayers telling Purdue we've got five seconds to get it over half court, but Maryland content to drop back in the matchup zone. New staying patient, trying to get it into Edie. Drops the shoulder, Edie, no, spun out. And Young the rebound. Second chance points, haven't been there for Purdue much tonight. That's been a strength for the Boilermakers all year long. And I thought that the forward position, Caleb first, Mason Gillis, really underrated. Young off the mark that time. Smith by a five step, draws a touch and sets up Gillis from the corner. No, Edie the rebound, Rick Green by Julian Reese. Akeem Hart from the corner, Rick Green. A 21 4 run, largest lead for the Terrapins, timeout Purdue. As we keep it here with 906 to play. Gotta love the energy. Well, this is a special basketball community. Talk about the Maryland Terrapins. Anytime you won a national championship, there's high expectations for this program. Uh, Maryland almost a carbon copy of their last game against Penn State, where they shot 64% from the field in the second half. Well, that same number in the second half so far tonight. It's rare when I think this, but Braden Smith needs to take over the game for Purdue. He's the only one that seems to be able to get his shot easy. There's Newman up top. It's off the mark. Rebound carry. Maryland has connected on nine of its last 11 field goals. William was open there along the baseline. Instead, it's Martinez off the dribble. We're coaching. Splitting defenders attacking the glass, that body in the air, some English off the window, and a three-point drop coming for the Costa Rican, Ian Martinez. Ian Martinez, stop, start again, go with the left hand, jackknife between two defenders. Like Corey said, that YMCA English. Nice. Individual effort by Ian Martinez. And the foul was on Mason Gillis, Stephen, his fourth. They go from chaos to a library in seconds here. <laughs> Quiet as Martinez knocks down the free throw, completes the three point play, and Morton turns it over. More active hands, this time by Carey and company. Morton is being too conservative. He's just got to go up the floor, get up. Is falling for the Terrapins here in the second half. A 26 4 run under eight to play in a 14 point Maryland lead. Smith trying to stop this run. Doesn't happen. Rebound a million. Even though he missed that shot, I like that shot by Braden Smith. He's one of the few boilers on the floor right now that have any confidence on the offensive end. Maryland has outscored Purdue 30 to 13 this half. Because they're getting everything in the paint. Or the slips, hard for three. That was short from the get-go. Offensive rebound. Run down by a million. And Maryland not settling for threes unless they're wide open. Hart has a good look. He'll fire again. But the onslaught continues. And Purdue only has one timeout left, Stephen. They burned some timeouts here in this second half. Only one remaining. It's a 19-1 run. Look at the edge. The offensive rebounds plus six for Maryland. That's all up for Corey. Terrapins is playing with higher energy. 
throughout much of this game. Lawyer off the fake, drives in, he is fouled. One to shoot, Lawyer fouled. He'll be at the line shooting two. When we come back, 11 straight losses for the Terrapins against AP top five teams. Last time it happened more than seven years ago. And since then, Stephen, this is what has transpired. Well, Maryland got a four-point play out of the deal, and they've been off and running ever since. 36 paint points by Maryland here against Purdue. As Lawyer knocks down the free throw, Gillis on the bench with four fouls. That free throw for Lawyer snapped a long scoring drought that lasted more than four minutes. Rayfield Davis says something in the pregame show that is an unwritten rule in college basketball. When you go on the road, you have to be at least 10 points better than your opponent to come out with a road victory. Purdue has not matched the physicality nor energy of Maryland this evening. Ray Pelley heard that from his head coach his playing games, Matt Painter, and Matt Painter heard that from his coach, Gene Cady. No doubt about it. Six to shoot. The hustle by Morton, but it stays with Maryland. And 6-14 to play. Looks like a foster lawyer is talking about a wet spot on the floor. Lawyer's talking about he must have lost his footing. And that's exactly what will be taken care of here. You know what it is, probably from the Maryland team getting up, you know, during the timeout and leaving some uh, moisture on the court there. Glad they got that up. Shot, short clock here. Just three to shoot. Jameer Young pulls up for three. 20-point game for Jameer Young. Played his high school ball just up the street, not far from here, a few minutes away at DeMatha. Told us before the game, playing for the Terrapins, a dream come true. Eating in the paint, left hand, and a foul. Well, I think Ethan Morton may be the defensive player of the year in the league. He can't have any better position, but that's a bona fide score right there, Jameer Young. Understanding time on the clock, getting to his spot, elevation, and cotton. Which made three tonight for Young. Who has a year of eligibility, by the way, remaining, even though he's a transfer from Charlotte. Still has his COVID year, should he so choose to come back and play another season for the Terrapins. I'll tell you what, there's 18,000 people in this building tonight. <laughs> We'd love to see him back in a, a Maryland jersey next season. Zach Eady knocks down two free throws. You know, Eady told us earlier today that over the summer he tried to shoot 300 free throws a day. A day, and that's a big part of his game that has improved drastically throughout his collegiate career. Well, it needed to be because he knew he, was, he, knew he was going to get fouled quite a bit, and that means that Purdue can go to him late in games because he's not a liability. I'm sure Reese was ready for that pass. Almost looked like he thought Young was going to shoot it. Instead, turnover number seven. Uh, the Terrapins. Young tapping his chest. That's on him. Borden departs and Newman back in. When you look at what Maryland has done, they're a point away from having four players in double figures. So it hasn't been the Jameer Young show like we've grown accustomed to. It's been several guys having big contributions on both ends of the floor for Maryland. Well, the makers have missed their last six field goals, but that ends there for Edie. Time left here. Five minutes to go. There's plenty of time. Plenty of time left. Plenty of time. And if Purdue can get the ball into Edie and him make quick, decisive moves like that, they can start to get some momentum. In terms of the three-point shot, though, a weapon for Purdue. Not on the floor right now. Gillis in foul trouble. He has four. Remember, he had made nine threes against Penn State not too long ago. Three to shoot. Dante Scott with two. Lost it. Turnover. Here's Smith against Martinez and foul. 
So a good defensive stand leads to a breakout for Smith, and he'll be at the line shooting two at 429 to play. Well, Dante Scott gets going too quickly, loses the handle. Ooh. Ooh. That was, uh, I don't know about that one. Russell Martinez with the foul, his third. Smith, second in the Big Ten in free throw shooting percentage at 88%. Look at all the news and highlights from around the conference on the Big Show presented by Rocket Mortgage tonight at 11 Eastern on Big Ten Network. And should that percentage, by the way, for Smith maintain, that would be a Purdue freshman record. And he's trying to beat some guy named Robbie Hummel. 87% Robbie during his decent freshman year. Yeah, I would say decent. Decent, right? Yeah. Okay. And understand. Spotty. Hart, nice move. Lots and scores. Pretty play along the baseline for Akeem Hart. He quietly now is 13. And Maryland's going at Fletcher Lawyer defensively, uh, offensively. Whoever Lawyer is guarding, they're clearing out the side, letting him go one on one. Eating off the feet from Kaufman Wren. And a touch by the Big Ten's leading scorer, Zach Eady. Nice high-low action by Purdue. 18 and 7 for Eady. Hart backs down Lawyer. Reese, left hand, too strong. Eady the rebound. So Purdue can. Cut this deficit quickly here and give themselves a little bit of time. If they can get single digits here in the next few seconds, this could get interesting. Smith beats Scott, attacks, layup off the glass and in. I'm telling you, let Smith go one on one or get, to get the ball inside to Edie because Smith can get anywhere he wants to on the floor. Great game for Smith, 18 points. Tied with Edie for the team lead and scoring tonight. Maryland using all this clock. Off balance defense. shot doesn't go. Tipped out, offensive rebound. Comes back out, and Maryland now slowed things down. That, that's the game right there in terms of loose balls. Maryland has gotten the 50 50 balls here this evening. Young fires for three. Shot down with 10 of the shot clock. Too quick? Uh, I think he was in rhythm. I, I'll let him do that. Smith, the floater, too strong. Still playing time left, but Purdue's got to get some consecutive stops here. And they've got to help Lawyer because looks like Maryland's seeking him out. Right here. Seven to shoot and a foul called on Lawyer. Just a fifth team foul on Purdue. And that takes us to a timeout. A minute 52 to play. A team heart of the Terrapins up by 11. You can cash back five fouls. Doing a great job. Seems to be motivated. He probably heard your pregame discussion with Ray Fell and the guys. And Rick, hey, I want to be a first team all Big Ten performer. Boo Booey was good last night. What about me tonight, Stephen Bardo? Come on. I tell you what, he certainly filled the bill there. Score to shoot. Dante Scott with three. Let's it fire up top for three. And he banked it. But that kind of night for Maryland. In his 120th career game, Dante Scott knocks down the three. Final 75 seconds. Lawyer, tough two. Lawyer now with six. It looks like Jameer Young. They have to get One across minute, here. One minute. And there's the 16th foul, not yet at the line. 59.6 to play. Matt Painter has seen 
Court storming not too often the last couple of years because Purdue hasn't lost many games. It's about to happen here tonight in College Park. Six court storms, last seven true road losses. Well, that just shows how good Purdue is. Really right, been. good point. You know, you, you beat another cops opponent, yeah, you're happy, but you beat a top three team in the country. That's something to celebrate. There's the seventh team foul. There's Mason Gillis at the line, or I should say on the bench. He was in foul trouble here in the second half. As Matt Painter looks on, one and one for Ian Martinez. Now coming up, number two, Indiana hosts number 12, Michigan women's hoops. Coming up next, right here on the Big Ten Network and the Fox Sports app. Two against 12 coming up momentarily from Bloomington. Boy, you just have to tip your hat to the Terrapins. They flipped this game at the beginning of the second half and never looked back. Scoring Purdue 43-26 this half. It was a 28-25 Purdue lead at halftime. 80 off the mark. Now two seconds separate the clocks. January 28, 2016, the last time. Maryland defeated a top five team. That was Mellow Trimble, Jake Lehman, Diamond Stone, Rashid Suleiman took down number three, Iowa. And you know what? They're trying to get Kevin Willard's helping Matt Painter get his players off the floor. Now that's class. That's a class act. And they're trying to let Fletcher Lawyer, Fletcher Lawyer's gonna have to throw the ball in. And then they're gonna have to run off the floor. And the lawyer's gonna throw it to Morton. And that'll do it. And